Hey, hey, good evening. How is everyone? I've been at work today and it took me two hours to get there. Anywho, I've got a bit of a... Can you, I've even got a spot on my neck. Like, I've got something going on here. And I've got a call at eight with one of my um, new partners that, sh that have joined the business. And I've got that at eight o'clock on Instagram. So feel free to come over and watch at eight o'clock. But... I thought just I need to sort the face out. That doesn't look very professional, does it? So I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup so that when I go live on Instagram I look like a decent human instead of covered in all this. Like what even is that? That looks like it needs a name. Right, so let's see if we can sort it out. Bit of primer. Um primer just really stops your makeup sinking into your pores so that it sits nicer, lasts longer, all that good stuff. Um, I don't know, I think this is like a hormonal bit of a thing because it's around the jawline, so hey ho, let's see if we can make me look decent ready for my Instagram live at 8 o'clock so I don't look like a spotty mess. Right, so um, primer just stops your makeup sinking into your pores and it just makes it sit nicer on your face, so that goes on first. Now I was needing full coverage today just to get rid of this kind of redness and stuff, so I'm going to go with the stick foundation because it's full coverage. It's got, like, it's one of my favourite skincare ingredients in it. Like, this skincare in the makeup, like, how crazy is that? Um, but basically, it's got safflower seed oil in it. And what that does is plumps and softens your skin. So I'm, like, all about that. Because it's looking after my skin at the same time. Hey, Brenda. And it's super easy to put on. This is the one thing that my mum always says I could even do that. Um, so you basically get your stick foundation, twist it if you need to, and you just draw on your face there's no fancy application now i'm gonna go a little bit down the neck because i need to cover bob the spot <laughs> that's appeared on my neck and then i just get like a really big flat-ended brush and we just go little circles from the inside to the out so from the inside of your nose and just blend now I use a big flat-ended brush because I just like my makeup to not take all day. Do you know, like I just need it to do what it needs to do. So let's get rid of the red on the chin. Let's cover Bob the spot. Might need a little bit of concealer for him actually because he's huge. Hey Patricia, good evening. So yeah, I just wanted to, you know, make myself look half decent ready for um my instagram live with my new team member um at eight o'clock i didn't want to be coming on with all this red spot situation so i thought i'd just jump on let's get some full coverage on for a change and just get rid of the redness and get it all nice and calm looking hey sammy good evening yeah, this morning was crazy, you know. I had to go to my day job. Like, I work from home three days a week, but two I've got to go in. And this morning, I looked outside and it looked like it had been snowing. And then by the time I dropped Jack off at school, like, this fog had dropped. So I was like, oh, do I go? Do I not? Do I work from home today? But Thursday, I've got parents evening. And Friday is always really busy. So I was like, no, I really need to go today and get it done and out the way right ladies i am going to put a little bit of concealer on this because it's huge now when you're covering a spot just dab it i do get asked this a lot like does concealer come first or after it's better to put it on after so that you don't blend it off with your foundation brush and then just dab you know like you can either dab just with your finger there we go. He's all covered up now. You can see it's a bump. He's completely covered, but it's like a bump on my neck. Like, like, what is going on? That is one ginormous spot. Um, so the full coverage foundation, that's got rid of all the red. Loving that. But yeah, that's the best way to just dab a little bit on. Now, if you get like dark circles under your eyes and you feel like you want a little bit of a lift there, just don't put too much on you know like if you pack on too much concealer especially if you're over 40 it can just end up exaggerating the dark circles so try and just go less is more hey melissa um and then just dab it 
because what you find is if you put too much concealer under your eyes or I do anyway it'll look really good when I first put it on and then you walk past the mirror and you're like what the hell is going on <laughs> you know like it's all sat in the lines and you're like yeah that is not a good look and it's just it's just an age thing less is more if you like me and nearly 40 just don't well I'm I'm past the 40 mark but if you're coming up for that age bracket a little bit less concealer works wonders right let's just add a tad bit of color to the situation if anybody does want to jump on instagram later um i'm going to be doing it at about eight o'clock but i thought let's just come live sort my face out now so i can go and eat my tea and get ready bit of blush And then we'll sort some eyes out. There we go. Oh, I look all human again. Like I've not been like sat in the car for hours, like uh, going mad. Oh, I just don't. I, I, what I do when I'm stuck in the car, I used to get dead frustrated by it, you know, like and dead like stressed. But now I just think I'm going to just put a podcast on. I'm just looking for my eye primer. I just put a podcast on or something, you know, like learn some mindset or some like coaching training or something. I just put some business training on or some mindset stuff. And I just think, thank you very much for this chill time in the car. <laughs> but yeah, two hours. I was like, what is going on? Right, a little bit of primer. You know, like if you've never used a primer, you might be watching me thinking primer on your eyes. What are you even doing? It looks like concealer, but it's a primer for your eyes and it just makes your colours stay on late longer and brighter. You know, like if you ever put eyeshadow on and then you've looked at it a couple of hours later and it looks dead dull. If you put eye primer on first, it stops any of that. It keeps it nice and bright. Now, if you've not got a primer, I mean, this has lasted me probably three years or something ridiculous. You know, like they last because you only put a dab on. Um, it's well worth it. Um, and then I'm going to go with, so this is my like eye essentials, eye essentials. These are, I'm going to show you now, they're so easy. You just literally, it's one sweep. It's just, I'm all about the easy makeup me. Hey Susan, hey Trisha, hey Anne. Hello, hello. How are you? Did everybody brave it out in this weird weather today? Or is it just me? That's a crank. I should have stayed at home. Right, so it looks like a lip gloss. Feels like a lip gloss, but it's an eyeshadow. So you just sweep it across your eyelid. Bring it right down to your, your lash line. Now, you can see it looks a bit dodgy at the top. But that's okay, because all you do then is you grab a fluffy brush and you just blend. If you've got time, you can do the little circles that you get taught to do, or you can just do your little windscreen wiper. It looks just the same, pretty much. <laughs> and we've got a pop of colour. We've got a pop of colour. Like, why not on a cold, wintry Tuesday? So, one sweep. And then just blend. Super the like, my absolute eye hack. And there's tons of different colours as well. I just thought I'd go a little bit bold today. There we go. See, it kind of goes with the green, doesn't it? You know me and me green. This is my thing. Um, but I think that colour actually goes really well with the green. Now I'm going to put a little bit of eyeliner on the bottom. Um, yeah, just a little bit on the bottom line. I don't usually put any on the top. I did in my 20s. I would never leave the house without eyeliner on the top. But I honestly feel like in my 40s, it makes you look better with that. It opens your eye up and lifts it if you don't put liner on the top. Um, so yeah, I've stopped, I stopped doing that a while ago. 
Right, let's sort these lashes out. And I'm starting to transform now. I, I'm good to go. Like, get my tea down my neck and then I'll be ready for Instagram. Right, a little bit of lash primer. This just, honestly, when, when they first brought this out, I was like, why do I need a lash primer? And someone said to me, like, do you condition your hair? And I'm like, yeah, obviously. And she said, why? And I said, well, my hair feels like brittly and knotty, you know, like if I've not got, if I've not used conditioner. And she's like, well, it's exactly the same for your lashes. And I'm like... Oh, so tried it out and it's kind of like a base coat as well, you know, like it thickens your lashes out and then when you put your mascara on, because your lashes are more conditioned, it goes on nicer as well. So you just blink and push. I've even curved it as well to make it easier. Think of everything. Right, let's get a bit of 4D on. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> right. Just in case you've never seen it before, where have you been? <laughs> um, this is just my the favourite, my favourite mascara in the world. It's a 4D one, but without the bits that drop out. Like it's all locked into the wand, so you've got all the drama without any of the faff. Because it's just one wand. Now they do come like packed um with products. So what you do is when you take it out, you just take off the excess so that you've not got too much on. And then you just take it to the back of your lashes, give it a little wiggle, bring it around the front and wiggle, and then you blink. Hold it in front and blink. Ta-da! <laughs> No, if you've got little tiny blonde lashes like mine, it's amazing. <laughs> Can you hear him in the other room, by the way? Let me know. He's like, I've got a gamer in the house. Like, it, they are so loud. And they make the weirdest noises when they're playing the games. Like, oh my word. The noises that come out of his room sometimes, I'm just like, what are you, what? Love it. Can you believe that's a mascara? Out of a tube and there's no bits. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let's get the other one done. And then, so you just go to the back. I'll show you that again. It's like a little wiggle. A little wiggle at the front. And then you just blink. And if you use that technique of like hold it in front and blink, it almost combs your lashes out so you get like a really wispy, nice looking. And you just keep going till you get it as dramatic as you want. So if you want to go back and do a bit more on this side. <laughs> now what I do is, you know, if you're doing it like a second coat, you don't really, what I've found with it is you don't really need to go right to the bottom with the second coat. You just hold it halfway down and blink and it just extends on what's already there. I just, I am obsessed with it. It's amazing. Need to give it a whirl. If you've never tried it, you need to give it a whirl. It's amazing. Right, a little bit of, I'm thinking neutral lip because we've got like a bit of a bold eye going on and I've got the green. So let's go with what, let's see what this one looks like. Oh, what do you think? Does that, is that going with that orange, orangey look? I think that works, girls. Bit of a neutral lip. Let's pop a little bit of lip mask over the top. Hey, Irene. I'll give it a little bit of a glossy, glossy look. 
Right, ladies, I think, I think I'm good to go. I'm ready for Instagram now for 8 o'clock. If anyone wants to jump on with us, um, I've got a special guest tonight and I'm really excited about it. So if you want to come and um, I will upload it onto Facebook afterwards. But if you want to jump on the live, just come hop over to Instagram because I'm, I'm excited for this. I do like featuring um I, li I like having some special guests on sometimes so and i think i think patricia is actually on this live so i'm looking forward to seeing you at eight o'clock um so yeah have an amazing how long have we got <gasps> one hour and 15 minutes let's see if the makeup stays nice and fresh right i will see you all soon mm. i've been so busy today i didn't even get time to drink my flipping collagen mm. That's how you know you've been busy. <laughs> See you later. Bye.